All right, so let's build a cup. Um, I'm going to hit home. And I'm going to hold shift while I right click and move this. And then I'm just going to drag this object onto the screen. And I'm going to hold shift while I pull up on it so it gets bigger. And I don't know, let's make it like 40. Type in 40 and hit enter. All right, so <clears throat> now I think the way I'm going to hit F while it's selected just so I get a better view. And I think I recently discovered that if I turn it into a hole, this next step will go uh, better. So while it's selected, I'm going to hit Control D, and that makes a duplicate. You can see I can move it out here. I'm going to hit Control Z, though, to bring it back. I just moved it out here to show you. Um, you should get comfortable with that. You know, I can drag this wherever I want and just hit Control Z, Control Z, and we're back in business. So I'm going to pull down on this while I hold Shift. See, if I, if I just pull down on it like this, it's going to shrink but it's only going to shrink in the vertical direction. I don't want that. I'm going to hit control Z to undo that. The proper way to do it is to hold shift so you can shrink the whole thing. You see that? So the whole thing with respect to the aspect ratio, it maintains the same aspect ratio. So anyways, I'm going to pull down like a couple of uh, clicks so that it's 38 instead of 40 like it was before. And now if we examine it, you can see that it's got a little space up here, but you also notice that it's got no space underneath. And I don't want that because that will mean that it, um, it'll cut a hole in the floor and, and this is supposed to be a cup. So I want to, I actually wanted to cut a hole in the top. So I'm going to grab this little, uh, cone shape arrow at the top and I'm going to pull up on it until it at least meets up with the top edge. Okay, so now you can see there's a little space underneath, and that's good because our little coffee cup, we shouldn't have a hole in the bottom. All right, so I'm going to click off and then click this outer edge and turn it back to its solid shape. And as far as the middle, I might actually pull up. You know, you can have that protruding all you want. Um, notice that I pulled on this instead of that. If, if I pulled on this, it would pull it out of the cup, and I don't want that. I'm just changing the height. Okay, so... Now that that's done, I'm going to select both of them and hit combine or group. And now you see we've got a beginnings of a cup shape. And we could stop there, but let's go ahead and bring out the handle. And that's just this donut shape. And I'm going to grab onto this and rotate it. And you'll notice that while you rotate it on the inside of this circle, it kind of jumps in big notches. If you bring your pointer out here, it goes more incremental. Uh, I actually want to be on the inside because I want this to be perfectly 90 degrees. And now because I did that, it's kind of stuck underneath the plane. And so that means I'm going to want to grab onto this cone and bring it up. And not only that, but I'm going to want the whole thing to become a lot bigger. So I'm going to hold shift while I pull on this and that might be good. Let's bring it down and then we can bring it to the left. Whoops, that's not doing what I wanted. Control Z, Control Z is your friend. Uh, I'm gonna reposition everything and then I'm gonna hold shift and, and do it that way too. So let's see, what, what does left do? Okay, left moves it that way. Up moves it that way, that's what I want. All right, so um, Unfortunately, if I do this, it's actually going to, you know, protrude into the cup. So um, one thing we can actually do to prevent that, oh, and by the way, I should probably bring this down. You can either grab this little cone and pull down, or you can do control down. So that's a good one to know, that control down will also... Uh, yeah, th this is looking like a good coffee mug, but the only problem is we got this interior area. So if you remember, there was an empty hole uh, s shape inside here. And if we select that and just say ungroup, it'll actually bring it back. And now if we select all of it and group it, it'll this whole area will also take a bite out of the donut part too. So... That solves our little problem. And now we've got a nice coffee mug. Thanks for watching.